Yeah, it's a lovely foggy morning, which you probably can see behind me, but I've come to this open area. And because of the fog, we've got these little pockets of trees, and I'm hoping because of the fog, it'll separate them from other pockets behind. Uh, and give them some really nice images. So I've come to this um, abandoned golf course again. I've been the last two or three times. But I think because of this separation, on a normal day, I don't think this place would work at all. It's so sort of busy and messy. The grass is messy, the, it's weedy, it's just... But because of the fog, it's gonna separate all these different pockets of trees. So I can just pick up this group and just photograph it and I think I'm going to make some nice, nice images. Um, also there's a there's a pond down here that I'm hoping to get, hopefully get a little shot from here, which I was, that's where I'm headed to first to be honest. So let's head down there and um, see if we can pick out, and I'm also hoping that the sun will just pop through a little bit and give that different dimension, that, that diffused light that we get, which I do love through the fog. Um, and because we've, we've up on quite an high ground, I'm hoping it can just penetrate through the fog a little bit and give me something different in the image. But we'll see, we'll crack on. It's only just down here and uh, see if we can get an image down there. Let's go. I've come to this, this pond, which I visited the other day in the snow. And as much as I thought, there's an image there one day, it didn't really appeal to me when it had snow and ice over it. Um, but today it appeals to me, it appeals to me because of this mist and fog, it's quite foggy actually. Uh, but we're looking across from one part of the pond to the other, it's only a pond, it's, it's full of um, uh, reeds and, and things like that. And then we've got this bit of separation of the pond itself. And we are getting, we've got three sort of groups of trees behind. And we're getting a slight reflection in the water as well. So I might have to put the polarizer on just to see if I can control that a little bit. Um, but the scene looks really, really nice. And this, this water just gives it that extra element rather than just a, a tree. Uh, which has plenty of them around and there will be some images, some, some nice simple minimalistic images. But that, on a normal day this would be too chaotic, but because we've got that bit of separation because of the fog, it's making for a real nice image to be honest. So I'm going to work this area a little bit and see if we can get a, a better image. Um, like I said, I come down here the other day, stood in pretty much the same spot, looked and, and it was really, I think, in that is an image for another day. Well, this is that other day, so it just shows a bit of a bit of scouting round and and uh, looking, and it uh, does does work. So let's get this image anyway. Right, got to change my batteries on both my cameras because you're flashing and the other one's just died. Batteries out. Okay, this next image for me is a real, real nice image. Um, I've got this group of reeds here as a set of three, and um, it's two metres away, and I've gone right into 70 mil, and um, 
focused on these three, F16, and I really, really like them. What I like about it is there's a lot of reeds behind it and it gives it that depth, um, but with the mist in between and, and then we've got the, just an into the trees behind, it looks a super, super image. Really, really, really nice. Uh, very, very, a lot, I just like the depth in the image. Um, and like I say, if it weren't for that mist and fog, it, the image would be way too busy. But because the mist is um, separating each individual reed, it just looks so, so nice. Really like that, really like that. A nice image. Very, very nice image. <laughs> I believe you're playing. Right. I think, I think it's time to move on a little bit. I might just go around this, this back side because it's really the other one side and I do. Cooper, hello. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come here. Excuse me. Ah, oh, thank you. Good lad. <laughs> Photobombed. I might just go around the back here because it's very... these bulrushes, isn't it? Um, there's a, a lot more around this one side, so... There might be another image there, so I'm going to go around there and have a look. Right, I've come across this, the best way I can describe it is this pocket of trees and, it, and it's like a little tunnel of trees. So I've come back a bit away from them, got 70 mil, uh, so I can get all that mist and fog photographed. And it looks real sort of spooky. Uh, and, and it just draws me eye because we can see straight down the the trees right to the other end and there's this mist and fog and atmosphere and it looks really really nice the sun is just starting to poke its head out which could change everything i can see blue sky right above me so that mist is starting to disappear and that's really, for me, that's what I'm after, the in-between. We could get some lovely, if it was strong enough, some nice, nice light, some nice side light. Uh, so I'm definitely stopping here for probably another half hour at least, just to see what happens, even though I've been here a while already. So I'm, I'm going to go a little wander around some other little bits, see if I can find these, like I say, these pockets of trees somewhat of interest that's just slightly different but this this sun as it's coming out and it's getting brighter and brighter it could change absolutely everything oh yes get it
Right guys, I think that's my morning done. I think I've got some nice misty foggy images. Uh, so I'm going to pack up, head back. That sun come out for at least a good second and it's just gone again. Uh, so I think I've done what I can do and I'm going to head back home. So I hope you've enjoyed that little one. Um, please comment as normal and thank you very much for watching my channel. Um, really do appreciate it. So till next time, catch you guys soon.